In this video, we provide the solution to question number 16 for the practice final exam for Math 1210. We're given the function f of x equals x to the fourth cube plus 36x squared plus 11. Um, we're given the domain x ranges from negative 1 to 1, closed interval. And we're asked to find the absolute maximum and absolute minimums of this function. So this is an extreme value problem. Uh, we're going to first look for the critical number. So we have to compute the derivative of f of x. Uh, by the usual derivative rules, we're going to get f prime of x equals 12x squared plus 72x. The derivative of 11, of course, is 0. And we need to set this equal to 0 to find the critical numbers. There's no place where this derivative would be undefined. Factoring out the least common, or the greatest common divisor, excuse me, there's a coefficient of 12x. Well, there's a coefficient amongst the co, uh, excuse me, there's a common factor amongst the coefficients of 12. We can also factor on x. So the GCD is going to be 12x. That leaves behind an x plus 6 is equal to 0. So our critical numbers turn out to be x equals 0, which comes from the 12x, if you set that equal to 0. And then you're going to get a negative 6 if you from the factor x plus 6. Now, x equal negative 6, we can discard that one because that's not inside of our domain. We, our critical numbers have to be between negative 1 and 1. So we're going to build a t-chart using the boundary points, negative 1 and 1. We're also going to use the critical number 0, which lives inside of that uh, interval. And we have to evaluate the function, not the derivative, at those values. So if we plug in negative 1 into the function, we're going to get f of negative 1, which equals negative 4 plus 36 plus 11. That's going to turn out to be 43. We have to compute f of 0, which is going to be 11. And then we have to compute f of 1, which is going to be 4 plus 36 plus 11. That turns out to be 51. Now, the smallest number amongst this list is going to be the absolute minimum. And we see that is going to be y equals 11. So the absolute minimum of this function will be y equals 11, which is obtained at x equals 0. Um, we also see that the largest number amongst this list will be the absolute maximum. So that's going to be 51. So the absolute maximum is obtained, excuse me, the absolute maximum is y equals 51. And it's obtained at the number x equals 1.